Hello everybody and welcome to a promo review of Brunswick Pro Billiards. Now, firstly, I'm going to go and say that I would rate this game a 6.2 out of 10. It's below average and I didn't enjoy it as much as I enjoyed some of the other pool games that are on Xbox and I will explain why. So, first of all, I did not enjoy the movement of the stick, so adding side in any sort of way was extremely tough to understand and I felt that when I was trying to use side on the ball, it wasn't doing what it was just intended to do and the speed of the shot didn't always feel accurate and the aiming lines as well also weren't so great but as I'm going through the menus here just showing you all the different tables and stuff that the game actually has there's quite a lot to do. The achievement list itself is difficult in my opinion as there's only the online play, uh, local play and practice matches and that is it in the entire game. And there's a lot of achievements for doing like collecting all of the cues, all of the different tables, all of the different ball sets and it felt a bit overwhelming that the game had a lot to offer and I felt like it didn't live up to what it should have been. So I tried to actually find a match or even go into a private match and it didn't even put me in one. So I don't know if the menu is broken for it or not, but overall it looked like it was to me. So going through the different achievements here, I disagree with a lot of them as it seems like it's a little bit finicky with the controls as the aiming lines didn't really match up to the shots well and playing pool myself in real life I felt like those shots should be going in as I know the angles that they should be going in at and sometimes it felt a little bit over or under where it needed to be even with side on the ball it didn't feel accurate and that's where I think it felt like it had a bit of a letdown that it had the basics of the controls there but it didn't have what it needed to have on the way that the physics engine works in this isn't up to 100% standard as it should be, in my opinion. So, I feel like there's a lot more in learning how to play the game than there is anything else in this. That The learning curve, you have to sort of get used to the way that the game wants you to play it by under or overshooting a shot to get it in. It just seems a little bit too much for the casual player. And... The fact that this has got keyboard and mouse settings really had me worried because if this is a keyboard and mouse game that was made for Steam or PC, then it seems a little bit too much that it should be on the Xbox, that it hasn't been finalized with its controls perfectly yet and it needs to go back to the drawing board with it. Um, the right stick, I think, is the one that you use to aim... Um, with and the the power as well and you have to sort of slow down your shot sometimes and it seems like especially with the sort of difficulty spike that this has it's a little bit too much and with the other games it's usually the d-pad that the uh ball has side on where you can move the cue you can't actually move the cue um up or down either you can only move the tip of the cue so that was another little thing that i didn't like about it that it didn't have the ability to move the cue um how do i explain it at an acute angle so if the ball was right up against the cushion and you needed to do a backspin on it it felt like it wasn't even possible to even try it because you have to hold LT and then moved down with the left stick, I think it was. Um, I didn't feel like that was the best sort of movement that this game could have. And I constantly felt myself having to go back to the controls. The fact that it moves the camera when you use the D-pad when you're aiming really put me off and... When I was going to do shots after knowing, like, oh, this needs a bit of sides, and I went to use the D-pad, it felt like it threw me off completely, like, oh, well, now my camera's a little bit off to this side or this side, and now I don't know where I'm shooting exactly, and it felt like I had to constantly keep going back and readjusting my shot, because I felt like I wasn't absolutely accurate. But overall, the game's okay. The, there's not really music when you're playing the game, so it doesn't really 
put you off in any sort of sense that there's music playing in the background and that's kind of a good thing in my opinion because it can be off-putting if there's a lot of different sounds happening you just need the basics of obviously when the ball hits and when you hit the uh, the cue against the ball that's the only sounds it really needs anything else is just irrelevant but overall i think that the achievement list is a little bit tough um, for the casual player to go ahead and get everything in it. The Achievement Hunters out there may have a better chance, and I feel like the uh, Jump Shot Achievement especially, I don't know how that's even possible if you can't move the queue up in the air. I didn't um, find that anywhere in the controls how to do that, and it felt like it needed to have some sort of better tutorial in a sense that it taught you how to do these things, and it didn't, so... The aiming and adjusting system felt like it needed to have a lot better controls, and that is my one main complaint with this game. Besides that, it plays well overall. It can be a bunch of fun. There are challenges in the game as well, which I found fun, but it doesn't really explain what you have to like what you have to do. So there's ones where you have to like call the pocket that you're going to pot the ball in, and once you've potted a ball in that pocket, sometimes you can pot a ball in that again, and sometimes you can't. Like it's not clear as to what is needed to be done and it also numbers the balls um in order and i felt like that's what it wanted me to do to pot one to nine like consecutively and it's not that case at all it's just you could pot any ball you could even pot the black in those challenges and it wouldn't matter and it just felt to me like it needed to have some sort of better tutorial to explain things a little better and I just wanted to go and show off some of the gameplay of the game in this video just so that you guys can see exactly what I mean when I'm playing it. It wasn't bad overall. I enjoyed it probably as much as I enjoyed some of the less average games out there. And I felt like maybe if you're playing locally, like co-op couch mode, then it can be fun against people like you're sitting next to. The online, I didn't even find anybody like online at all or the private match mode i didn't even find anybody um to do the private match with like you could set up a private match and then like invite somebody so i didn't even get into that menu whatsoever and it felt like it needed to have a better layout for that so besides that it's an okay game overall it's a little bit on the pricey side though unfortunately and if you're not willing to pay for the pricey side of the game for the limited controls that there is and the difficulty of the learning curve of the game, if you're not used to playing pool either, this can be an extremely tough game for you. If you're not used to playing pool games before on Xbox, then it felt like this is more of the PC game with the keyboard and mouse settings. I don't even think that should be on this. I think those menus need to be removed completely. And... With this mode that I'm playing now, the mode for the timed sort of... I don't know if it's timed or if it's just misses. Like, if you miss the ball, then, then you have to go ahead and redo everything. And you only get five misses, and once that's over, that's it. And I feel like that was a difficult challenge for me. As for the other challenges, like, playing the nine ball and eight ball variants of it, cool idea. Just needs a bit more explanation as to how to play the game, and it will be absolutely fine. Besides that... Really enjoyed everything else in the game, the uh, cues and stuff that there is. Obviously, I think when you get a better cue, it's easier to do these sort of shots, and maybe that's what I was missing, the better cues to do those sort of shots with, and that'll give me more of an option as to what I need to do. So with this, once you go ahead and shoot, you literally have to be perfect with the shot that you're going for. And I didn't understand this mode entirely, like I said, but overall, it was a fun game. It was a cool little experience to have fun for sort of 10-15 minutes playing. Um, playing for hours and hours, I don't think that could even be done. I, I feel it's like one of those games that you pick up and just have a little bit of fun with and you put it down. It's one of those sort of games and it didn't feel like it needed anything more than that. So, besides that, with everything that I've mentioned, maybe the devs will go ahead and fix some of this, but... I hope that my advice for the game for you has helped a little and if you want me to post any more of this game with sort of an achievement guide for any of the tough achievements, go ahead and let me know. But I want to thank you all very much for watching this video and I'm going to do some more promos as well on my channel. So stick around for those and I will see you all in the next one.